Uh, good afternoon. Just me talking today since it looks like things are really winding down for Portland. Um, no reason to believe that Portland, the North Valley, Vancouver, uh, that we're going to get any more than just a trace of moisture overnight, that we will get any more than just a trace of moisture on Wednesday. So we're pretty much done. However, temperatures have a decent chance in much of the valley, you get down to freezing tonight, and that'll set up some icy spots with the wet roadways that we have. So what we do have going on, we have east winds in the gorge at Crown Point, back up to 60 miles per hour. Those winds have taken a long time to get going, but I do think we'll see increasing breezes overall coming into Portland and parts of the valley from the east overnight tonight. And if you're in a, uh, in a windy area, that East Multnomah County, that probably keeps you above freezing. Um... We have still some light moisture over Salem at this hour, but it's 41 degrees, and that moisture should be going to the south. I'm still going to say that maybe showers hold on long enough this evening that Salem could get a dusting of snow. The precipitation probably holds on long enough tonight that I like the chances of Eugene at least getting a coverage of snow. Uh, otherwise, in our immediate area, you pretty much have to go up into the mountains. The coast range made it through today with some icy spots around the summit, but basically not much of any snow on the highway. Um, and any precipitation over the coast range, Highway 6, Highway 26, will be like tonight. For the gorge, I think anything along I-84 in terms of a shower tonight will be really light. So pretty much that's not a snow event in the gorge. Uh, Upper Hood River Valley, Parkdale, different story. They may get some accumulating at that elevation snow tonight. Uh, it's really a mess up in the Cascades. If you look at Government Camp where they've had 8 inches of new snowfall, and you look at Santee M and Willamette and any of those Cascade Pass cameras, they look like it's mid-January. Big time snowpack on the roadways. ODOT's been out plowing all day, but that's really slow going. Uh, the Siskiyou Summit has really seen the snow rates pick up in the past couple of hours into California. That'll be really slow going all overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Improving conditions down there during the day tomorrow, however. And our cameras are now showing we're getting the, which we expected, the accumulating snow has begun over in Sun River and Eagle Crest and Redmond as the forecast for Central and Eastern Oregon overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, depending on where you're at, anywhere from two to six inches in the, in the valley locations. Um, and then really by Thanksgiving Day, there's no moisture anywhere. We're just dry. Same thing on Friday. And I continue to watch what could be a noontime start of precipitation on Saturday of a system coming up from the south. That's going to ignite the gorge winds. The dew points are still going to be in the 20s. And it sets up the possibility of ice in the gorge Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Sunday morning. Sets up at least the possibility that there could be a period of some sleet or freezing rain or a wintry mix here in the valley, developing Saturday afternoon into the night and maybe early Sunday morning. So that's the next thing that we're watching. And with that said, I will bid you a very good night.